Okay, so I'm hiding in my bathroom. Why? Because I'm a single mother of two daughters, and um, right now they're watching movies, and it's the holiday season, and we're all home, and this is what we do when we have time together. We watch all kinds of uh, movies that are our favorites. Um, but, so if you hear the background noise, that's what it is, and as I told you, I'm always going to be honest, my life is constantly moving, um, but this is something that I'm dedicated to, and I will always find time to do it. So my inspiration today um, is to discuss being single. As I said, I'm a single mother. I have two daughters. Uh, one is in 10th grade, and the other is going to be in junior high next semester, um, both girls. Um, being a mother is not easy. I think anyone could attest to that. Being a single mother is a different animal entirely. So someone asked me, um, how did I become okay with being single? And so now that I have like a minute and 12 seconds that have already blown by because I over explain everything, um, I'm just going to dig right into it. Um, I'm not okay with being single. Um, or maybe I am. Here's, here's what it is. Um, I really believe in just similar to how people say death and life is in the power of the tongue or people say the law of attraction. I believe that positive thoughts and positive uh, vibes, when you think them, you'll receive them. Um, so positive thoughts yield positive outcomes and positive vibes and positive uh, works yield blessings in your life. And so... I had to be honest with the desire of my heart and the desire of my heart is to meet the right person and spend my life with that person. Um, so I had to be honest with that because I would never receive that if I continue to maintain this facade of I'm fine. I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. I'm bad by myself. Yeah, I'm pretty bad. I've done a lot. <laughs> I've done a lot. I'm a fantastic provider. I don't need to go through my whole resume of all that makes me who I am. But at the end of the day, I am single. And this is something that I have to accept. And I would like to be in a relationship. I would like to meet the right person. And having children doesn't distract me from the desires of my heart. Seeing my kids be healthy, that's a desire of my heart. But I haven't lost myself in my motherhood. I'm still very much myself. I still have my own identity outside of that, which is important. And so I know that one day I'd like to meet that person that I could look to my, you know, look to my right and know that he's there. Um, but it hasn't happened. And I guess I, in a way, I am okay with it because I will not force what isn't to be, but I am going to continue to state the desire of my heart and think positively about it because when I do, then I know that it will come my way in the way in which it should. And so I'm not going to hold myself back and pretend that the life that I'm living right now as a single woman is the life that I want to live. But at the same time, I won't scorn it because it is not my season. I believe that everything comes at an appointed time. And when it is time for me, I will meet the right person and things will go as they should. But if I do anything prematurely, I'm only doing myself a disservice. And um, that's really where I stand with being single. And I just want other women who are single to know that you don't have to force it. You don't have to look. You will be found. You will be found. If a man is truly seeking a woman of virtue, you will be found. You do not have to position yourself to be seen. He will see you, and if he's any kind of man, he will know what to do. If you are not into men, she will see you, <laughs> and she will know what to do. If you're a dude, he will see you, and he will know what to do. So it really doesn't matter um, in any circumstance. I think that the only reason why I am okay with being single right now is because I have admitted to myself that it's not what I want for the long haul. 
but it is what is right now. And when my appointed time comes to be with the right person, it will happen. It will happen because I say so. It'll happen because I put that positive energy into the atmosphere. It'll happen because I don't lie to myself and say that's not what I want or I'm bad and by myself and I can be single and I don't care if I ever meet somebody. I don't do that anymore. I stay, I stay honest with myself. I stay committed to my truth and it's going to be all right. So if you're single and it's the holidays and um, you just wish that you had the right person, you just have to understand that when your time comes, it'll fall into place. And it's no different with other things in your life that you may have waited for that you eventually achieved. So you cannot say that you value love. You can't say that you value love and you want love and not respect it. Love is like any other wealth. It takes time to accumulate. It takes time to acquire. You cannot expect love to fall in your lap that way and say that you respect it. You can't. Because if you truly know the value of love, then you would know that it doesn't come easily. It doesn't come immediately. It is something that takes time. And when you see someone that has it, you can't envy them because you don't know how they got it. And you don't know if they know what the heck they're doing with it. You just have to focus on yourself. But similar to, you know, wealth. You wouldn't lie to yourself and say, I don't need money. I'm fine. We all need money to function to some degree. Doesn't mean you have to worship it. But it means that it's a necessity to run your life. And we all need love in our life. Albeit in different capacities. But some of us need romantic love. Some of us need just the love of a child. We all need different love. Uh, but love is important for everyone. So don't deny yourself what you deserve and what you truly want. Don't lie to others about what you want. And most of all, don't lie to yourself about what you want because you're never going to attract what you deserve if you're lying about what you truly want. So happy holidays. And I'm wishing you peace and love uh, this holiday season. Happy holidays. Bye.